Regardless if you have a reflector headlight, a projector headlight, or a reflector fog light. Chances are your vehicle uses a regular old halogen bulb. And if you wanted brighter headlight bulbs, you can either upgrade it to a brighter halogen bulb, an HID conversion kit, an LED headlight bulb, or lasers. That's right, laser technology is coming to the market. It's already used in high beams, of high-end luxury cars like Mercedes and BMW. And today we have a chance to check out the very first of its kind, a laser headlight bulb replacement. It looks extremely similar to the different LED headlight bulbs, but there's nothing sticking up out of the mounting collar. You just have this little lens. And the advertisements for this product won't tell us how bright it is. All we know from our research is it's a Nichia laser tube that emits the light. The way it works is down in the bottom, there's a tube where a laser gets powered up. The laser fires through the tube and hits some phosphor. That phosphor then illuminates much in the same way that an LED chip does. The difference is the laser is super directional and because there's no mirrors or other facets to split the light, it goes in one direction, straight ahead. Now we're gonna figure out how this thing works in a low beam, a high beam, a projector, and a fog light. The thing is, the people who are trying to sell this product say that it's great for auxiliary lighting or fog lights, but some questions and concerns are raised. What applications does it even work on? Are the beams even useful for driving? Is a laser-based bulb that shines the light emitted from the laser directly at other drivers safe to use on the road? But let's at least see if they work. I'm curious. First, let's start with a low beam halogen reflector. You take the original bulb out and you put this one in. But do you see the cap over the opening of the hole inside the reflector headlight? This thing's gonna fire right into the back of that cap and do nothing for a low beam. When we power the bulb up, we can see that it's working. And when I put it in the headlight, we can still see that it's on and it installs correctly, but you have no light getting through because of the glare cover. Of course, makes sense. So it's not suitable for a reflector halogen headlight on low beam. But what about high beam? This Toyota Tacoma headlight uses H11 high beam in a reflector style. And when we plug that in, we get light. But is it any good? Is it any brighter than the halogen or an LED? When we look at a projector headlight, we still get light coming out the projector lens. But how does that light source work in a projector setting. Now if we put it in a fog light, we can see that it fits and it works. Let's see how good it does on the wall. So let's start with a projector low beam. Now this is a 2018 Toyota Tacoma headlight that uses an H11 halogen bulb and it came in at 570 maximum lux. Now we're not talking about lumen, we're talking about lux, which is the actual brightness at a certain point and so in this test, in a controlled environment, we can compare the change in lux from one bulb to the other. So our benchmark for this projector is 570. Now keep in mind what this beam pattern looks like. Let's throw in a typical LED headlight bulb. Up next, we have your typical LED headlight bulb replacement. This is the super popular SV4. And this one not only retains the factory beam pattern almost perfectly, but it's twice as bright as the halogen bulb, coming in at 930 maximum lux. Now what happens with a laser bulb? The first thing you'll notice with this laser bulb is the massive amounts of yellow color with a bluish white center. This thing only came in at 210 maximum lux, which is actually half as bright as the original halogen bulb. The laser technically creates more lumen, but partnered with a headlight housing designed for use with a light source like a halogen bulb, it's not used properly. It's a third the width. This will be completely undrivable and it's half as bright. Now, if we flip the LED SV4 to the Toyota Tacoma high beam, we get a high beam pattern. It's as wide as it should be. You've got the hot spot just like it should be. And this thing comes in at 1,700 maximum lux. This is about four times brighter than the original halogen. Let's see how the laser bulb compares. 
on this typical reflector style high beam, the laser bulb is the brightest option out there. 2,160 maximum lux. But is it even worth using? It's a spotlight with a yellow glow. I don't know if this would ever be useful at all for a high beam. I'm not even gonna bother. You're missing your left to right. You're missing your vertical spread. It's just a weird beam pattern for a high beam. Here's your typical halogen reflector fog light. I'm not gonna bother with the Lux because we know the LED is brighter than the halogen and we know the LED mimics the beam pattern of the halogen. So you can see here what a fog light's supposed to look like with an LED bulb. You've got massive amounts of width, a fairly central hotspot, but really no distinguished intensity in the middle. The big thing with fog lights is that they're supposed to be super, super wide and not very tall. With LED headlight bulbs in your fog lights, it's mission accomplished. With this new laser bulb, you get the same effect as that high beam. It's a big spotlight with a yellow glow. Now, in a fog light application, you could almost consider this like an offer light or an auxiliary light. Look, if you wanna see 3,000 meters down the road with a light that looks like this, probably blinding people even from your fog lights, this is probably the best application for this bulb. For me, I'll stick to LED. Kind of an interesting product, sort of reminiscent of the patented laser headlight bulb that was debuted by Morimoto a couple years back. But is this form function, is this technology even going to work? I would say it's got a ways to go. You can't use it at all in a typical low beam. It doesn't work the right way in a typical projector and it doesn't work super great in a high beam either. The only real application is a fog light but you're missing the whole purpose of a fog light application when using this bulb. So what do you think about laser technology in car and truck headlights? Let us know in the comments if you'd buy this laser bulb. For me, I'm gonna pass. If you wanna see other lighting reviews where we talk about the best of the best in LED, HID, and halogen, subscribe and go check out our other videos.